Liam, after what was quite a frantic second half, how, how are you feeling about a draw? Uh, yeah, disappointed, obviously, to draw a game when we're, when we're leading the game and have the best chance in the game to kind of, I wouldn't say put it to bed, but put us in a 2-0 lead against what's a really, really good team, especially at home. Um, but a lot of positives to take. I thought it was an outstanding game of football for this level. I thought both teams played their part. Um, the players are disappointed, which I like. Um, and it's frustrating, but at the same time, there's a lot of positives to take. Yeah, and some of those positives out of possession, the amount of times we actually won the ball back to create chances when we led yeah. by 1-0 is a very pleasing point. It is, and I was just I was saying to the lads after the game, we just need to take care of that final pass. Um, but the, we work a lot on our organisation without the ball to create those moments. We try and have possession, we try and play, but you need to be good without the ball. And I think every player buys into that. And what you have to do is work really, really hard. And we're very, very difficult to break down. And that, we were up against the best striker in the league. I thought he was outstanding today with, with his assist, his general play. But Maka, Alfie, Carl, the two fullbacks, all defended great, stopped crosses. And but at the same time, you want to keep that clean sheet, which we've been good at. And the amount of energy, especially from both sides, going up and down the wings, it, it turned into almost like a basketball game, didn't yes, it? It was, it was a basketball match. It was not good for my heart rate. I, I don't <laughs> like basketball games, but um, no, I felt if we could get that second goal, we'd have a little bit more control. Um, there were so many openings where we just didn't make the final pass, didn't have the final finish. But at the same time, we're playing up, we are up against what I think is a very good team who are in very, very good form. Um, we could talk about those coming back, but first of all, how's Benji? It's so disappointing yeah. for him, isn't it? It seems to be the story of the season. Uh, Benji's felt his hamstring. Uh, we have to assess him and see where he is. As every time he seems to get a good run, and something seems to happen. And I, I feel for him because he's a, he's a great lad and he's a very, very good player. Yeah, it might create a bit of a dilemma at the end of the season as well, might it? If it, depending on how long it takes for him to get back and how yeah. the season's progressing. We'll just have to just see what uh, what the prognosis is, see what, how, how much damage there is there and, and take it from there. Positives though, Ali look fresh and someone who started the game too, fan, that's probably one of the most energetic performances we've seen from him this season. Yeah, I'm really delighted with them. Um, Ali has come back again. Mika seri has been out for a month. dimmy has been out for a long time. Like I've said, I've said it every week, Ozan's getting so much more used to the demands of the English game. I thought he was outstanding with his energy. Unlucky with the head of goal that got called for offside. Um, and Adama Traore looked a real positive as well. So a lot of positives. I want to keep this group fit because <laughs> if we do, I know I've got a good group and I'm, I'm delighted with them. Do you feel they should have had a pen penalty in the first half or did you feel was, slightly fortunate to be in a half time no, level? No because I know Callum, Callum's not even seen the lad he's, he's turned around and looked at the ball and he's gone down yeah. um, it wasn't intentional at all and I don't think the lad gets there anyway you know it's more of a coming together I would have appealed for it you know you expect the opposite bench to appeal for it um, but again uh, let's not talk about the refs let's talk about what was a really really good game and, and one that I think the fans of both sets of teams enjoyed. And what, what a travelling contingent given the weather we've had this week. Unbelievable, the weather, to drive here in difficult conditions and back the team. They were they making me proud. I'm proud to be the manager of this club and again with the free travel that Ajin and the guys put on um, and their support and it makes a difference. I keep saying it makes a difference to our performances and hopefully we can keep it going. Um, Louis, as captain, it was a bit of a rollercoaster of emotions. What was it like to play in? Yeah, it's sickening um, to concede sort of in the second half, um, in a game in which, especially the second half, I felt we, we was comfortable, come on to a really good game. Um, had difficult moments in the first half, um, but again, like we always do, we defended our box well and and, um, and saw that sort of tricky spell out in the first half, which allowed us to um, to have a platform to build on in the second half. And I think we showed, especially in the second half, what, what we're all about. And we had some really good moments. And if I'm being really critical, I think we could have been a bit more ruthless and, and gone up maybe two or three in the league. And we had some really good um, clear-cut chances. And... When you don't quite put them chances away, you always give the opposition that, that chance that they obviously took in the end. Yeah, I mean, in the first half, and especially, it was a, a contrast, wasn't it? Because the first half, it was more maybe, under the cosh would be maybe slightly harsh, but th because the chances that they had were, you know, half chances more than anything. What did the manager say to you at half time to create that pressure though going the other way? Yeah, I just think he, um, he's, he's quite he's quite vocal in that he wants us to be brave. He wants us to get on the ball, which we've all bought into. And and again, I think we we can still be braver. Um, all of us, myself included. Um, and I feel like that that was evident in the in the second half. We we was prepared to take the ball in in tight spaces and and beat their initial press. And then it was just that last little bit. Um, obviously, Oscar comes up with a with a fantastic strike to put us ahead. But um, yeah, just that last little bit. Then then last little details in the final third which which will be the difference with us going two or three up and, and seeing the game out. Uh, but something that was very pleasing from the stands especially was the control when the ball was actually in that back line. Would you say 
with the ball in that situation, that's probably the best performance we've had since Liam's come in. Yes, but again, especially the second half, we showed glimpses of it in the first half. Um, but I feel second half, we we had some really nice moments in in, in the build up from the back, and and like I say, once we broke them, we broke their initial press and, and sort of found that found that passing between their lines. Um, we showed what we can do, and we showed sort of the moments we can create. But it's just about sort of finish them off and and um, and putting that finishing touch on them. And from a defensive point of view, you must have been happy with the engine room in the second half, the way that when we was leading, we was creating those chances by winning the ball back. Yeah, again, I think that's that's something that this group's always had, um, that energy, that work ethic. And and alongside with the quality which the gaffer wants us to um, to enhance even more, we're, we're a very good team, we know that. Um, and again, it's just just about buying in, buying into what the gaffer wants us to do and, and, um, and keep applying ourselves to, to get to where we believe we can get to. Do you feel it's now ten cup finals to get into the playoffs? Yeah, of course. We know we know this league's a, a tough league, and to sort of to get a win in the championship, um, whichever side you're coming up against, you're going to have to play well, ultimately work hard, and and, uh, and put in a good performance. But yeah, of course, we um, we've got some tough fixtures coming up, but we've also got um, ourselves who are a very very good team and a team in which we believe we can go into every game and win. And if you can beat a team like West Brom at home, who are very much in form, Bur Burnley are top of the league, and they're you know, running away with it, but it's what happens in those 90 minutes, isn't it? Absolutely. We um, we look forward to the games, especially like the games on Wednesday when you're coming up against um, a top opposition, and and it's a it's a real marker for us to go to go head to head with them and and see where we're at and um, put on a good performance.